Leaving the battle so soon, Dodgy. What do we have here? The great mystic Tai Gong Wang himself. <laughs> of your own free will, you joined Orochi. You must pay the price. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I'm not going back to that stuffy old place. Everything is going according to my plan. Following the death of the Serpent King Orochi, the chaos that plagued the land seemed to have subsided. However, this newfound peace was not destined to last for long. The remnants of Orochi's army refused to admit defeat, and the forces of Lu Bu, Dong Zhuo, and Masamune Date also refused to surrender. Cao Cao of Wei moved to raise troops as well. These various opposing forces raged like a violent tornado, once again bringing chaos to the land. This storm threatened to engulf Liu Bei and the Shu Kingdom, which had been living its days in peace. I never thought the day would come when I could speak with the great Lord Liu Bei, one of the heroes of history. He has shown true nobility in his dealings with me also. The honor is all mine. This opportunity is one which must not be wasted. My lord, we have ascertained the whereabouts of Da Ji. Since Orochi's death, it appears she has been hiding in Shi Ting. Hmm. If we leave her be, she could bring about untold chaos and suffering. I will lead a force to hunt her down. Zhuge Liang, can I ask you to take care of things here? I owe you all for what you did for me during the war against Orochi. It is now my turn to repay that debt. Very well, my lord. Leave defense of our main camp to me. I will be waiting for news of your glorious victory. My lady, to hurry is to invite disaster. Be careful. I am simply excited at the prospect of fighting alongside you, my lord. My lady. Then let us ride into battle together. Daji sows discord wherever she goes. We must stop her. Forward! Oh, so Liu Bei does that to attack. How fascinating. My body. Ah! For the enemy to be right in front of us and not be able to act. Oh, you're all so easy. All right, boys. They're sitting down. Finish them off. There's a strange chant coming from inside the garrison. So that's where it's coming from. That outpost must fall at once. Your pitiful resistance is useless. We will extinguish the life from your bodies.
Dragon Strikes! Another blow struck for virtue. Another blow struck for virtue. For my brothers. Time for the secret weapon, I think. Come, my portly top. <laughs> Attack! Crush that fool, you bay! An ambush. Stay calm. We can get through this. Reach Liu Bei so easily. Another blow struck for virtue. For my brother. Another blow struck for virtue. Everything appears to be going as I imagined. Let us see. Daji is there, in that garrison. You and weaklings, you are helpless before our might. Blue Dragon Strikes! This battle signifies the rebirth of a chaotic age. Your strength will be required to return peace to us all. Get that gate open. Daji, your hours are numbered. I can do this. What's going on? The gates are opening. Who's doing that? 
Hmm. It appears as if someone just entered that portal. Oh, I didn't see you there, little boy. You tend to blend into the background. Your futile mouthings will not save you now. It ends here. Who's keeping score? Thank you for your assistance. My name is Liu Bei. May I inquire as to whom you might be? How very polite of you. I am Tai Gong Wang, and I am here seeking Da Ji. I had hoped to capture her while she was preoccupied with you, but your skill exceeded my expectations, and she escaped. <laughs> I suppose I underestimated you. Yours to use as bait. Come here, and I'll show you just how dangerous this bait can be. Calm yourself. She may have gotten away from us, but victory was ours. Let us be content with that for the moment. Master Taigong, it appears we share the same goal. Shall we join forces to achieve it? I cannot refuse such a heartfelt plea. General Liu Bei, I will accompany you. I will join you as well, Liu Bei. This man possesses great talent, but still needs to learn the art of finesse. After a hard battle, Liu Bei and his forces managed to defeat the combined forces of Da Ji and Dong Zhuo, but were unable to capture Da Ji herself. However, Liu Bei did manage to welcome the tactical and military genius of Tai Gong Wang to his ranks. As a mystic, however, Tai Gong Wang doubted the abilities of mere mortals and saw Liu Bei and the others merely as pawns in his goal of capturing Da Ji. Meanwhile, Da Ji was working on a plan of her own, secretly plotting behind the scenes. My friends, I am afraid I have some bad news. It appears Da Ji has joined forces with Masamune. Masamune? As I recall, he was part of Orochi's army. So they have found their perfect partners. If only I could find my perfect partner for Kimari. Poisoned by Orochi's wiles, it seems he still hasn't cleansed himself of that pollution. General, we must put a stop to this unholy alliance. Daji poses a threat to us all. Lord Liu Bei, I know young Masamune well. Please allow me to talk to him first. Thank you, Ieyasu. Speak to him and convince him to leave Daji. First, we must secure the eastern garrison to enable the forces of Shu to arrive. Mm. 
Ieyasu commands the enemy army. This could be tricky. Reinforcements are on their way. Until then, we must guard this garrison with our lives. Another falls on my path to victory. I am a man of peerless might! I got this garrison under control! Masamune, go have some fun! The Maverick appears to be in control. It would be prudent to avoid the center. The enemy is storing supplies in the western garrison. Interesting. So now we know how to break them. Lord Ieyasu, we are ready to serve. Why do you persist in joining forces with that fox woman? You are an intelligent man. You know she's only going to use you. Causing some trouble. I am a man of fearless might. A new age of chaos began. This land needed a new ruler. Who better than the one-eyed dragon to continue the Serpent Green. King's Green. legacy? I fear it will be difficult, but we must not allow him to reach such wanton destruction. Another falls on my path to victory. This arrow will show us the way. My lord, our reinforcements have been delayed. Those idiots! What do they think they're doing? It's a 
about time. Now, my soldiers, we must turn this battle around. The enemy is on the move. Stand your ground. Victory as usual. Another falls on my path to victory. Another falls on my path to victory. Another falls on my path to victory. I am a man of fearless might! Have no fear! I will turn the tide of this battle! I am a man of fearless might! Masamune, what advantage is there in fighting against us? Join us, and stop Daji from bringing more chaos to this world. I think not. It's too late to stop this chaos now. Sorry. I have failed. I could not convince Masamune or even find any traces of Daji. What a waste of time. Wait a minute. Perhaps Daji wanted us to fight Masamune. Which means all she wanted was to buy time. In which case, we must make sure to catch that fox quickly. Lord Juge Liang said the same thing. Every second counts. I... Fight with you. Thank you. I will certainly rely on you. At a loss, are you? This is unusual. I am ashamed to admit it, but I cannot read what Daji will do next. <laughs> this human factor is messing everything up. Daji has learned from her time working with and against people. She has developed a human cunning. The time will come when you too will come to understand them. Then you will know what to do. At the request of Liu Bei, Ieyasu Tokugawa defeated the Date army. 
but failed in his attempt to capture Masamune. In addition, Daji, rumored to have been traveling with Masamune, was nowhere to be found. Everything was playing out according to Daji's plan. Daji used the battle between Masamune and the Shu army to buy herself valuable time to further her mysterious plan. The Shu army found itself at a major disadvantage due to Daji's deception. To make matters worse, they soon found themselves being stalked by one of the deadliest figures known to man. Brother, that brute Lu Bu is on his way here. Unfortunate timing. We need to hunt Da Ji, but his appearance will make that difficult. Leave it to me, brother. I will take care of this thuggish marauder. Wait just a minute. I'm the one who saw him coming. Lu Bu is mine. Most men would run in fear at the name of Lu Bu. But these two argue over who gets to fight him. True warriors indeed. <laughs> there is no time for indecision. General, make your choice before the enemy is upon us. Hmm. This time, I will fight with Zhang Fei. Guan Yu, I must ask you to think of the greater good and guard our main camp. If it is your will, brother, then so be it. Rest easy in the knowledge that our camp will be safe. Even with Lu Bu, the odds of them defeating us in this battle are slim. Ha! <laughs> You're talking pretty big. It's not like you. Yes. Perhaps some of your personality is rubbing off on you. After all, I'm fighting with the true greats now. <laughs> you know just what to say. I'll try to live up to your expectations. Lu Bu. If he wishes to perpetuate oh. mayhem, then he must be stopped. Don't worry, brother. I'll take care of him. You speak Slow of virtue and, and honor, but they are nothing more than pandas. Now, attack the Shu army while they are disoriented. Enemy! Get 
Enforcement from arriving, then victory will surely be ours. Our reinforcements have had their access routes blocked. We must clear the enemy away to enable them to arrive. idea what you're in for. One step at a time! My lord has given the order, and I am here as his loyal servant. We will provide what little help we can to your cause. So the Wu army is gracious enough to send us the brilliant Lu Xun. With such a mind on our side, victory is surely ours. Ah, looks like we have no choice but to unleash the Tiger Cubs. Now would be an opportune time to lure Lu Bu out. Men of Shu, please advance upon the eastern fort. One step at a time! Ambush.
Step into time! With this, we should be able to lure Lubu out. Oh! Yao Chan! You! You! I... I will kill you all! Always have been the greatest warrior of all. And I will destroy you all to prove it. Fighting a meaningless battle will bring only more hatred. Target eliminated. Lu Xun, I cannot thank you enough. Please, my efforts hardly deserve your thanks. But tell me, what do you know of this man, Kiyomori? Kiyomori? Who's that? Sounds like more trouble. I am afraid he is one who loves chaos. Our Wu army came under attack from his forces. Yet another obstacle we must overcome. Do not despair, Lord Liu Bei. I have been instructed to provide your army with what help I can give. Please let me know where my efforts will be of greatest use. Wonderful. With your tactical brilliance on our side, we need have no fear of this Kiyomori. Wait. Please give us the order, and we will eliminate Kiyomori. We won't let you down. Inspired by your famous fathers, are you? Very well. You will be in charge of the reconnaissance troops. Gather any information you can on Kiyomori. Why have you not told them of Kiyomori's designs? What good would it do? It would merely incite panic. Do they not have enough to deal with in Daji? Should I have confused them even more? No. You are testing them. You plan to see just how far the human spirit will stretch. Think what you will. That is your right. <laughs> You do seem to have a soft spot for these humans, I must say. Fail me in this mission. Sir. Ching Tsai, don't go do anything I wouldn't do. Even the bravest of heroes are still worrisome fathers, no? But they seem so fierce on the battlefield. <laughs> Having received reinforcements from Lu Xun of Wu, the Shu army defeated Lu Bu. Following the battle, they learned from Lu Xun of the demonic Kiyomori Taira, who was leaving a path of destruction in his wake. Now they face threats posed by Lu Bu, whose only interest lay in being the most powerful of men, Masamune who saw himself as the rightful heir to the world with Orochi gone, and Da Ji, who continued to operate in the shadows. And now, a new threat arose to replace Orochi, Kiyomori. The causes of this newfound chaos were gradually becoming clear. Sensing the immediate danger posed by Kiyomori, Liu Bei ordered Xing Tsai and Ina to gather information on his army. 
As these two brave warriors carried out their mission, they came across an old friend who had been taken prisoner by a mysterious warrior they had never seen before. There are flags up ahead that I have never seen. There is also a heavily guarded cart. That is Lord Mitsuhide. What is he doing there? We can't leave him there. We must move to his rescue with all haste. Let me go. I will not work for Kiyomori. Hey, hey, don't be like that. It's not such a bad deal, you know? Anyway, we'll iron out the details with the old man himself. I do as the fates require. Oops, looks like we've got company. I suppose I could take some time out for a little fun and games. Quick, get him while they're still down! Do as the fates require. Hurry to Lord Mitsuhide. my knowledge of the arcane arts. I do as the fates require. The dragon! Another enemy butchered! What do you know of this steel mori level? Very little, I'm afraid. But I fancy that monkey may be me. We must capture Zoom Mukong. He may have valuable information. There's someone I must protect! I will not be defeated! Let's 
Dragon Right! I do as the fates require. All right, Wukong. I'm here to... Hey, what's going on here? We've been... As far as the eye can see. Must be dreamy. You are as great as your father. I must be as great as mine. Soon Wukong will be hiding in the mist. I have an idea how we can catch him. Follow me. I sense a strange presence emanating from that mountaintop. I bet that's where my father is heading. Fates require. Not hide from me. Come on out. Do as the fates require. I do as the fates require.
will fly through the enemy! This should clear that mist. Look! There he is! Oh, just when I was getting ready for a nice nap. raises me to new heights! I'm not slow enough to let you lot catch me. See you later! I must thank you all for rescuing us. Go on now, say thank you. Lord Liu Bei! Express how grateful I am to you for risking everything just to save us. How adorable! I am just glad you're safe. I hear that Sun Wukong is quite the warrior. Kyomori and Wukong are working together to expand their territory and their army. Inciting war, amassing allies. It's all very reminiscent of Orochi. We cannot allow Kyomori to have his way. Lord Liu Bei, Allow us to join your cause. And we will put our lives on the line to realize your dream. The time is right, and I am ready. My ambition will be realized. The Shu army defeated the mystical Sun Wukong, rescuing Mitsuhide and his daughter. According to Mitsuhide, Wukong was an underling of Kiyomori. The demonic grasp of Kiyomori had begun to spread across the land. However, Taigong Wang simply smiled in the face of this threat. Having seen Liu Bei and his men face and overcome countless obstacles, Taigong Wang was beginning to believe in man's potential. Meanwhile, a colossal shadow silently approached the Shu camp, hoping to see the limits of man's potential for himself, albeit for entirely different reasons. Now we know Kiyomori's overwhelming ambition. 
He must be stopped at all costs. Look, brother. It would seem as though we no longer have need to go searching ourselves. Kiyomori! I wish to test the strength of this Kiyomori myself. Please, brother, allow me the honor. You remain behind in the battle with Lu Bu. This time, it is your turn to fight. Make them fear the name Guan Yu. Understood. I'm going to tear that barbarian to shreds. It is our duty to dispatch these servants of mayhem from this place. Right now, with all you have! Wrong to oppose them. Let's kick it. You were wrong to oppose me. When I get frustrated, I have the overwhelming urge to smash things. I might have guessed the enemy was led by Guan Yu. With him at the helm, it might be worth trying something different. I think I'll smoke them out. Away with you! Away! Blade strike again! The next time you and I meet, you won't be walking away. To allow the enemy to set up a fire attack, I have been careless. to oppose me. You were wrong to oppose me. Soldiers will disappear if we can just find who is responsible for them. Ha! 
time is upon us! You must strike the enemy main camp! Understood. I will be with you all the way. Finally gone. Thank you, Shang Liao. So they're finally coming. Still, I don't think there's any need for me to get involved just yet. to oppose me. Not half bad for a bunch of humans. I'll see y'all next time. Yes, it's more sorcery. If we can get to the sorcerer, we should be able to put a stop to it.
time for me to see what you are truly capable of. Away with you! Away! What this battlefield needs is a little refinement. Away with you! Away! Away with you! Away! Unfortunately, I don't think we've seen the last of them. Thank you for coming, Zhang Liao. Lord Guan Yu, think nothing of it. To fight with you is the only thanks me and my blade require. Hmm. Well then, let us fight together. With our combined might, none can withstand us. General, I have discovered Daji's location. She is in a place called Odani Castle. You must continue to observe Kiyomori. I shall handle Daji. I understand. Still, there is nothing as vicious as a cornered rat. Take care. <laughs> a human worrying about me? Still, I thank you for the thought. Farewell. Led by Guan Yu, the Shu army received assistance from Wei's Zhang Liao and defeated the Kiyomori army. Following the battle, Zhang Liao agreed to remain with the Shu forces. Having added Lu Xun and Zhang Liao to its ranks, the Shu army had assembled some of the mightiest warriors the Three Kingdoms had to offer in one united army. Meanwhile, the Kiyomori army was bolstering its own ranks with the addition of the boastful Wu Kong and the tyrannical Dong Zhuo. With both sides increasing in strength, a showdown between them was inevitable. Amidst this escalating tension, information was received that Da Ji was hiding in Odani Castle. Leading his army, Taigong Wang marched on Odani Castle. In his heart, he knew that cooperation with mortals would be necessary to bring his plan to fruition. Da Ji's flight will end here. She has done well to come this far. But even if I capture Daji, Kiyomori will remain. <laughs> Evil is a disease spreading through this land. There must be some way to eradicate them for good. Releasing Orochi is a crime for which you must pay, Daji. All forces advance and make sure she doesn't escape. No! 
another victory for courage. Take care of that ambush, now! There is no way she can succeed. What is that she thinking? <laughs> you can know the mind of a trapped fox. I would suggest catching her quickly, before her plans come to fruition. Another victory for courage! Here they come! Time to flatten them! This sorcerer must be stopped as soon as possible! She insists on deploying such small units. 
What would Lord Shuge Liang do in this situation? Another victory for courage! This guy's no fun at all! He's seen everything I think of! Back we go to the final fortress. Hmm. Well, I guess such small numbers are asking. Really? Perhaps it's time to commit a few more moves to the cause. I'll just lock the doors nice and tight with a little bit of magic. Keep the enemy occupied trying to get in. Ah, like lambs to the slaughter! Another blow struck for virtue. one to blow you away. A tornado. An annoyance to be sure, but stopping it is a simple matter. What is Daji's true intent? I hope that didn't hurt too much. Another victory for courage! Another victory for courage! Have courage! Another victory for courage! Daji was trying to make sure that girl escaped. In that case, we'd better make sure she doesn't. Another victory for courage! Another blow struck for virtue! Have courage! My turn! Forgive me! 
Forgive me, Lord Orochi. I have failed you. General Liu Bei has made mention of you. You have proved worthy of his praise. I am honored by your words. What did you do with Da Ji? Our small numbers cannot watch her properly. I have sent her to the general. My lord, the situation is dire. Kiyomori launched an assault on Da Ji's prison wagon. He has taken them and escaped. Kiyomori. I feared something like this might happen. Now that Kiyomori and Daji have arrived, we will need to redouble our efforts. We shall fight with you. With things as they are, you will need every bit of help you can get. Reinforcements from Zhuge Liang, Taigong Wang captured both Da Ji and Himiko. However, while the prisoners were being transported back to the camp, a surprise attack from Kiyomori led to their escape. Kiyomori, with Da Ji and Himiko at his side, and with his forces riding a wave of momentum, headed for Orochi's resting place of Koshi Castle. Kiyomori was looking to put the final touches to the same plot that Da Ji had been planning all along. One so insidious that it would strike fear in the hearts of all who heard it. Reports say that Kiyomori is performing some kind of ceremony at Koshi Castle. Ceremony? Surely Daji is not just handing over her secret weapon to him. I had not thought this time would come so soon. <laughs> it appears we have driven the fox into a corner. General, you must send your best men to Koshi Castle at once. Understood. Zhao Yu, take some men and storm the castle. Wu Kong, you must let no one within the castle. Understood. Don't worry about it, old man. I got everything under control. Kiyomori, he's up to something in the castle. We have to break in at once. All forces, advance! Enforcement units need us to secure their ingress. Then we must seize the garrison and allow them to arrive. Uh, 
so that's what they're up to. Go on, boys. Make life difficult for you. I am a man of fearless might. I am a man of peerless I might! I'll handle this. Cannons! They have to be stopped! I'm afraid I can't let you in. We've got an important ceremony going on. We must complete the ritual. Buy some time. Smiles upon me. With this hand, I will change the course of this battle. Beware. I am a man of fearless might. I Anyone gets in your way, blow them to pieces! Now, keep attacking! Don't panic! As soon as we eliminate the source of this evil, the tornadoes will subside! Yeah. 
Those cannons would be very useful in our hands. upon me. Wasn't good enough after all. You have done well. Leave the rest to me. The gate has opened. Advance. I only hope we are in time. Hurry.
about you and I play a little? To buy the time until the world belongs to me. Finally, our hands are on time. She has been revived. He awaits us at the Wuzhang Plains. Impossible. How can this be? The Serpent King has returned. Will humanity follow him? Or will they fight for freedom once more? The die has been cast. General, we await your decision. My lord, there is no need to worry. We have defeated Orochi once. We can do so again. This time, however, we will ensure his eternal slumber. King had returned. Although Liu Bei and his men defeated Kiyomori and Wukong at Koshi Castle, they were too late to prevent Himiko from reviving the fallen Orochi. Liu Bei gathered together his forces and hurried towards the Wuzhang Plains. There, Orochi, along with Da Ji and Masamune Date, lay in wait, coiled and ready to strike at the approaching Shu army. The final chapter began to unfold as man, demon, and mystic all prepared to participate in one last battle. I had thought that transporting Daji by a cage wagon was a rather careless decision. Killing Daji would have served no purpose. Others would simply have taken up the banner of Orochi in her place. Indeed, has Kiyomori not already shown this? So I thought, let Orochi gather those malcontents to his side and catch them all at once. A risky venture. What's more, Kiyomori and Daji have joined forces. Daji risked all in giving Kiyomori Himiko, the key to resurrecting Orochi. So Orochi's very reawakening is all part of your strategy, is it? <laughs> I shall leave that to your imagination. But there is one thing I have learned. With your strength, victory can be yours whether Orochi returns or not. We have stopped Kiyomori and forced Orochi and Daji to face us. 
This story is fast approaching its conclusion. We have allowed Orochi to be revived. Liu Bei, regrets are useless. You must move forward. Death and rebirth. It is time to stop this mad cycle of Serpent Kings. The last battle may not have gone well, but this is the final chapter. We must defeat Orochi and bring back peace to this land. Forward! Come, humans. Overcome me again if you can. Dragon strikes. Close the gates if you will, but there is no denying me. The story has been written. Your fate has been sealed. Five, adventure four. Outbox and outbox. You won't have your way that easily. Amusing, certainly, but no sorcery can survive the fall of the sorcerer. Another falls on my path to victory. We will attack from the west! Go forth, my loyal soldiers! Amusing these things! Still, what a mere mortal conceives of can easily be replicated. Some woman is not quite as fitness as she used to be. Blue Dragon Strikes! Yet again, I will protect my Lord Orochi! Rifleman, take aim! Fire! Outfought and outfought. Ah! Nothing works against them! Outfought and outfought. Lubei needs us! We have to fight! It is the ability to inspire loyalty in the lowliest peasant that is the hallmark of Liu Bei's goodness. And if they die, he will ensure that their deaths Another falls 
on my path to victory. This arrow will show us the way. Another falls on my path to victory. Another falls on my path to victory. The Eastern Front appears to have been dealt with. But there are still more dangers which we must remove. Dragon strikes. I will open the gate. Hold for just a moment. The threat from the west has abated. We must hurry and give aid to our allies in the center. Well done, men. Now, let the final chapter commence. Advance and take down the Serpent King! Outfought and outfought. Another falls on my path to victory. The welcome we're supposed to give Lord Orange. Come on, people. Let's pick up the tempo. I guess it's time to me, though. Time to have some fun. Lord Orange! They're too strong! I have no need of sniveling cowards. For my brother. Any who turn their back on the enemy will be buried by my own hand. I will venture forth. Blue Dragon Strike! Dragon strikes. Out thought and out spot. The time has come to press the attack. On my path to victory. For my brothers. 
Another falls on my path to victory. Blue Dragon Strikes! Dragon strikes. Another falls on my path to victory. It makes no difference. There's no way to stop Lord Orochi this time. Out thought and out thought. Outfought and outfought. So, these are the men who wish to challenge me once more. Blue Dragon Strikes! Over. At last. Master Taigong Wong, you have my eternal gratitude. Thanks to you, we have defeated Orochi. I do not understand humans, a frail group, yet sometimes they exceed even us. It is I who must thank you, General Liu Bei. Farewell. He was young and cocky, but he was a good man at